So Activision has filed a lawsuit against a Call of Duty a cheat seller here. This is the this is the appetizer for the before the main course of this topic. So um, obviously cheats are big with online games, um, and I guess with some console stuff too. But it sounds like with consoles, the more I learn, like people sell like controllers that help you cheat. So you actually buy hardware yeah, that helps with been, recoil. It's, it's been around for a long, long time. There have been uh, controllers that. Um, Basically, they have chips in there, and they are auto fire controllers. Um, so they can empty, you know, certain guns that would have like a very slow fire and reload. They'll empty them like they were uh, a machine gun. Um, lots of um, updates have been done to kind of negate the efficiency. Of, so say, couldn't the software know that hey, these are firing too much or too quickly? Yeah, and I don't, I, I, I can't pretend to know all the ins and outs of it. But even with updates that looked for stuff like that, people were making new chips and new things that would kind of skirt it, that would fire things at variable rates to kind of get around it, looking for you know, uh, you know, a trigger at specific intervals. Um, but people don't call me looking for them anymore. So my guess is that they're probably not. Uh, they used to call you looking for hacked controllers? Oh yeah, people used to call me looking for rapid fire controllers all the time. It was a huge, huge market. There's a dude in Ocean Beach who used to make them and uh, good dude, um, but I, I, I don't know if he's still around, but I mean, he made an enti- he made a living off of just selling hacked 360 controllers. And that would just make you be able to fire like a handgun, like a machine gun, basically. I, I, it was yeah. like, uh, like I said, I don't, I, I can't pretend to know all about it but yes it was basically it would let you use these guns that were extremely powerful that maybe only would give you like one shot every couple of seconds sure. to you know just unload the whole clip well activision obviously that'd be tougher to clamp down on but now they filed a lawsuit against this cheap manufacturer um and it looks like it's for the the newer uh, battle royale one uh warzone it's like it's happening the most warzone's a mode within uh, all of the new ones so it's a, a mode within um uh modern warfare um, and what's causing the problem is that a lot of these are cross-play now. So whereas gotcha. on console, you used to be at least somewhat... Safe from the cheaters. Somewhat safe from cheaters. Um, from software cheaters. To, yeah. Software cheaters to a degree. Um, and even that could eventually be hacked if you had modded systems and whatnot. But y- you were much safer from it than you are now because now it's just mixing everyone together into the same bowl. So you have your PC players with your Xbox One players with your PS4 players. So yeah, you the potential is there that you're getting um, a lot of cheaters mixed in with the uh, console playing pool so um, this this um, was interesting just because I didn't know how how bad this was when I saw, saw something on one side like something like this banned like 70,000 people for suspected che- cheating like a lot of I was like what yeah like that's insane that even if if, even if that's like 5% or 2%, like that's just too many cheaters. Like that's ruining almost every time you're going to come on, along, you might f- find a cheater. Right. You know, every other game. Um, so this company shut down their Discord. It's C- CX Cheats. Um, they shut down their Discord and then the cheaters were complaining about paying 60 bucks and not being able to use it in the future and wanting their money back. And it's like, go fuck yourself. I mean, I, I, how yeah. much easier can I say, simpler can I say it than that? It's like go. I, I never understand people that cheated at, at video games. Eat a hot um, bone. I, it's like I don't uh, fucking no. Mm-mm. I, I have no. I have no tolerance for that. How do you it's have just, fun? I mean, I just, how is it fun? My to brain cheat at is games? Just, my brain is just wired differently. Yeah. What fun is it that you're trolling people by easily defeating them and and ruining their? You know, you, you're a guy. Maybe you get off from work. Guy or gal, you want to just play a game for a couple hours, and then you get frustrated by someone you know is cheat. Like, do you have that low of self esteem that you cheat to make it so that you can win a game and then lord it over people? But like, how, well, well, how, but first of all, how do you get to that point where you cross that weird barrier? Where I'm going to cheat because we see it when sports and we see it everywhere. I knew Kevin used to cheat at, at board games. That's how you know he was. A we've talked guy. about this before. People who cheat at board. I mean, games you should be shot. <laughs> you should be shot. <laughs> The trust you are putting your trust and, and integrity into someone else's hands when you play a board game. Yeah, the whole system breaks down if trust is not there for a board game. You have to build up the trust. So, um, so this was a horrible thing that happened. I did well. It's good that they, they they're suing the fuck out of these people and going to go after them and shutting this down. Um, but then I saw a streamer Ian, coincidentally, a streamer get caught red-handed. 
on Twitch. Just made the rounds. Who who likes Schadenfreude? Who likes to oh, who likes boy. to see a little bit of hubris punished? Oh, Cause, boy. Cause we got it right here. Mr. Gold is his name. Mr. Gold on Twitch. Mr. Golds. Mr. Mr. Golds uh was a is a Twitch streamer who um there's a clip we're pulling this from sportskeeda.com. But there was a <laughs> there was a clip it was on Twitter too. Okay, on Twitter as well. Uh there's a clip of Mr. Golds, the Twitch streamer. Um this is just a minute long clip. And he's bragging to his chat after the game must have just after ended. After the around. game must have just ended. Talking about how what what whoa, what's the big deal? Have you guys never seen someone play the game this well uh, before? Yes, I've not seen this. I'm good. Have you just oh, yeah. yeah, I'm I'm just very good. Have you not uh, it's like you guys have never seen someone who's good play at this game before. Uh, while he's got the menu for the cheat the the cheat menu opened on his screen. Yeah, he has it. He has streaming. A, he has a he has his task manager open for some reason, which shows your programs running a computer. Behind that, you can see the menu, which I guess why they call it a cheat menu because it's literally a menu with like aimbot and other stuff, and you have different settings. It's literally open while this moron is bragging about how good he has he is at Call of Duty. Yeah. Bragging, bragging his ass off to his uh, to his his chat that he's so good. While the cheat menu is right there, and uh, in the clip that I've seen, no one in chat calls him out for it. But as he's bragging, like really talking himself up, he looks at his computer, and then you kind of see him just get silent, and he's kind of moving his mouse away from the cheat menu, and you realize he has no idea what to do like he's been caught with his pants should i down. not just close it and then yeah. if i close it people realize yeah well, i was looking at the chat and that and I, I like to see the longer video when people realize oh no what's going on because when he was doing this it was over a thousand people watching i believe this is not a small twitch streamer this right. guy i read almost had almost eighty thousand followers that's a really big you know twitch uh streamer to get eighty thousand followers so um he did an apology video ian well, first of all, let's just state that uh, that oh. was put on Twitter, and people were calling for him to get his twi uh, his uh, channel reported to Twitch. He does have a Twitch ban currently. Who knows how long? Twitch bans. When I hear the word ban, I always assume that it's like permanent. Twitch bans always seem to be like a slap on the wrist, or so like a week or two weeks. Yeah, Doctor I mean, Disrespect got a couple weeks for, for the filming, for in, filming the in a fucking bathroom, a yeah. public bathroom. So um, I don't think he's going to be gone for long, which is unfortunate. These people just. They don't fucking learn anything this way. Did Activision f nuke his fucking account? No idea. I hope that I I would think they would with all this going on and they hear about this. They like, would probably have. Yeah, to. we we just came down on. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna check on Twitter right now. So uh, before we get into his apology, why is this not a victimless crime when people cheat at this, especially in this age? Obviously, obviously, it's not victimless because because you're ruining other people's experience. They paid money for this, or at least they're, this is a, if this is a free mode or whatever. They they're putting time into something. Um, you're fucking over the company that made it because you're ruining the, the the end user experience for all these people. So you're screwing with the company that that put their time and effort into this game to begin with and money to make this game. Uh, but then you're ruining the experience for everyone else who might not want to even indulge in, you know, uh, in, in, and maybe putting some money into the game further uh, for whatever, paying for skins or whatever. So we're talking on the monetary level alone, yes, you are affecting uh, the company directly. Then you're screwing over the people playing it. But when it comes then to the Twitch ecosystem, if you're gaining a following because you are good at a game, you're performance enhancing for your own monetary benefit like, and, and, your, and your own reputational benefit. Yeah, you, um, uh, t nope. Wow. Brain. Fucking Christ brain. Did Dr. Doom just let it splatter right <laughs> yeah. there? Oh, but you're also potentially, you know, if, if, if you're gaining viewers off the idea that you're very good at this game, you're potentially, ta but you're cheating. You're potentially taking viewers away from someone who's actually quality at the game. Yes. And taking their money for subscriptions yeah. and for donations and tips that, because listen, I'm not going to try to to lob more ad hominems at this guy than I have to, but just looking at his uh, his apology video, which we get to, I don't think this guy was making it on his personality alone as a Twitch streamer and his charisma. He was making it because he was good at the game, right? Through the cheats, obviously, which I guess is a thing. I, I personally would not follow someone on Twitch because they are awesome at a game, but I can picture other people that would. I can picture people be like, oh, this person is awesome. He's he's sniping people, he's getting headshots, he's going on killing sprees, you know, he's getting he's earning the nuke bomb or whatever in Call of Duty and dropping on people. I can understand that. And that's probably how some of those people make a living, is doing that. So he's he's a cheat, he's a thief. It's disgusting. 
And that's before we get to the apology video. <laughs> yeah, the apology video um, <coughs> is incredibly insincere, uh, full of all of the, this is not who I am, guys, sort of stuff. Um, you know, and uh, he starts talking about how he wants to earn people's trust back. And uh, um, I think he was saying he wanted to start playing with a controller. Uh, English is not his first language, so I, I, I did not... I, I could have been mishearing some of That's it. That's what he said. He wants to try to relearn it with the... Because he realized that, yeah, if I go play on a, on a PC, no one's going to ever trust again that I'm playing this without a cheat. Right. Yeah, that's what I assumed he was trying to say. Um, apparently, he appeared to... He tried to deny that he was cheating in an Instagram post uh, the day after. Oh, I didn't before, see that. Before he oh. came clean. Yeah, this is a PC Gamer article. Oh. Uh, Mr. Golds appeared to deny that he was cheating in an Instagram post saying that he was not hacking yesterday. The message is a bit hard to decipher because English is not his first language, but the intent is clear enough. He also indicates that at some point after this in incident, he streamed with a background camera that showed no background programs running on his monitor. <laughs> Presumably to prove that he doesn't need to cheat to win. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Then the question remains then, even, even if you didn't, why would you have the cheats? Like, that's why... That's why yeah, you, so why is it, it on your computer? No, it's ridiculous. No, there's, this is zero tolerance when it comes to me. When cheating, plagiarism, lying, you, you, don't get, you don't get a second chance or something like this because you, you don't deserve it because cause you already... You already... The damage is already done. You can't go backwards. This is like with... Um, you know, all the guys that got caught in baseball for performance-enhancing drugs, they got caught after they got their big contracts. So a lot of them. So they already got paid out. They hit their home runs. They got their $100 million contracts. Okay, suspend me for half a year. Who cares? Right. So it's like, you can't undo it. Uh, all the damage that's been done, at least for that professionally, unless there's some clause for that. But um, no, this is n gnarly to me how bad this is. And then he, he again, he, and he used my favorite line when it comes to apologies. This is not who I am. That's what I said, yeah. Oh, you did say that? I said okay. at the beginning, yeah. Full of all the classic, um, all the classic the, shit. The, um, the, 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 the Cincinnati Reds announcer who got fired for using the homophobic slur um, on the on the hot mic, he didn't realize that was the first thing, thing he, he said. said. This is not who I am. Well, yes, no, it, yes, is. it is. It is. I mean, you can say I made a mistake and try to get away with that, but no, it is who you are when you say those things. If, if not, you wouldn't have said it or done them. Right. Exactly. You it's, don't say this it's is one hundred percent who you are. That then, is. then how do I define who you are by things? That, if I can't do it by things you say and do, then well, how am I defining you then? It's just a. It's does it, does it, do these sort of apologies work with, work with people? I guarantee you, it'll work with some of this guy's followers. He'll be like, oh yeah, it's fine. I just want to see cool headshots. I don't care if you're cheating or not. Does anyone have any fucking honor anymore people, when it comes to stuff? People don't like to look at something that goes wrong and go and reassess and go, maybe that person wasn't who I thought they were and maybe I shouldn't be following them. People love to double down on that sort of stuff. Oh, really? We haven't seen that in our society in all the yeah. past four years. No, never. Or never tripling down. Never seen it. Um, I, I, yeah. So I don't know where, I, I don't see why Twitch would have this person back at all. I, I hope I, I hope it's a perma ban, I, I really do. And this guy was trying to blame the world situation in his apology. But he's like, oh, you know, things are happening. It's like, things are happening to everyone. Doesn't mean you got to fucking lie and cheat. Doesn't mean that you like, have like, to like, fucking cheat at a video game so you can brag about it to your viewers. Yeah, bragging and then to get that sweet the sweet subscriber and tip money there. It's like it's ridiculous. It's absolutely insane. So anyway, it's yeah, it's, 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 this is the modern gaming topic you, you always wanted. Yeah, from Mr. Mr. Golds. He's a scumbag streamer of the week. Of the week.